Good morning and welcome back once again. We are here with Youths and Politics. This is a conversation you don't want to miss because we say today is WC. Oh, today is MCM. Eh? Yeah, Youth and Politics. And we are here now with comrades who will help us understand what journey we now have from now January 2021 to 9th August when Kenya will decide who their next president is, who their new sets of governors are, senators, up to women rep, the county assembly representatives, the national assembly, and all that. My name is Ankara Kayesu, and I'm with comrades here. One is called Abubakar, and the other is called Thomas Obari. How are you guys? You're fine. Kenya <laughs> Mnaonaji. Kenya Okay, you introduce yourself, detailed, uh, like you, who you are, your social media handles, and everything that you'd like people to know about you, starting with you, Abu Bakr. Uh, I'm Asman Abu Bakr, uh, youth leader, uh, aspirant, 2022, to my money politics. Okay, Unavai up? Kisi Central Ward. Oh, Kisi, Kisi Central. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm an opponent, <laughs> <my letter opponents. laughs> <laughs> okay, social media handles? Uh, social media. Social media to Liachua Twingine. Oh, how cool. This is Nikama Uhuru to Nasema Toiku Sumbuliva. Oh. Watch out to Ingina Pambane Nayo. Okay, you'll tell me if you subscribe to Uhuru kind of politics, but now <laughs> that is later. Let's know, comrade. How are you, sir? Thank you, Kayesu. My yes. name is Obare Thomas, mm. a young aspirant for Bobasi Boitangare Ward, mm. that is in Kisi County. Mm. This is the second time I'm trying it. Oh, I've the been second a time. Yes, I've uh -huh. been also a student leader at the University of Nairobi. You are my leader, yes. Yes, I'm a trained economist. Yes. This guy was my governor at the University campus, of right. Nairobi, main yes. campus. Yes. It's not easy to be a governor at <laughs> UN main campus. He was, he was. So mm -hmm. Thomas Obare is a politician I respect. Thank I you. also respect you, though I'm get, uh, we are meeting for the first time today, yes. but uh, now you're here to tell me you are which, on which party ticket are you buying? Mm, party ticket, Azimio or oh. DM? Oh, okay. I will, not ask you. I, I will not ask <laughs> you, Barry. I will not ask you your, your party ticket now for, for reasons best known to me. But now, I'm not a Kenya happy now. You, there was an earthquake yesterday. But, uh, where were you yesterday? Uh, were you yesterday, Nairobi? I was in Nairobi. Oh, I was did you feel up. it? Uh, maybe the waves. Stella <laughs> and Obama were telling me <laughs> that the earthquake was, was done using hands in the podium. That there was earthquake. The, it was done by, by just a few people in the, in the, in the podium at exactly. Bomas of Kenya. Yes. Because uh, trying to look at it, Kayesu Mudavadi. Yes. Uh, it was seen coming mm. since last week, but one. Mm. When he defended the. Uh, Kakamega Senator yes. Cliffus Malala mm. attending uh, the, the DP's, DP's rally. Yes. That's when everyone was like, Sasa, we are moving there. Mm. We are moving to UDA. Mm. But uh, Mudavadi is saying it's an earthquake, not really an earthquake. Maybe an earthquake for Oka falling, <laughs> but not an earthquake for Kenya. Because everyone was waiting for it. Everyone knew. And uh, since uh, and he, His Excellency Ruto was having talks, saying like, we want Mudavadi with us on board. Yes. We want to move with Mudavadi. Yes. So everyone was not like, just something we'll wait and see, maybe a big earthquake more than yesterday. Uh, for me, no earthquake, maybe the storms and waves. Abu Bakar is insinuating, I don't know whether it's correct, that uh, ANC moved to UDA yesterday. Is it? That way or the other way around? They didn't really move. What happened yesterday is that they want to cooperate together. They somehow are trying to come up with a coalition. Mm. And uh, to me, that was in the earthquake. That c was long predicted that Musalia was headed to, to, to Ruto. Yes. So nothing happened new yesterday. Nothing happened. Nothing. You happened. were seeing nothing. Nothing happened. I, I want you guys to help me predict now what is going to take place. Because it was very clear. In fact, the UDA people have been campaigning that 
it's very clear who is going to be our candidate. Yes. Is it now complicated who is going to be a candidate between, in this new formation, this new coalition, who is going to be a candidate between Musalia and Ruto? Now that yesterday Musalia also launched his presidential bid. There is no complexity in that. Ruto remains the candidate for that coalition. Mm -hmm. Musalia uh, is just coming to complement Ruto. What, what, for what position? What is he going to The best he can get is the deputy presidency. The best. Do you think he's going to get the deputy president now that the central Kenya in question? Uh, according to me, Musalia can only be a minister in the government. Of Ruto? Ruto. Because having to look <laughs> at the politics in Kenya right now, the big number, the big margin is in central Kenya. Yes. No one will want to lose getting a deputy from central Kenya who can back up his agenda. Having going to Western region, Western region, Ruto has been campaigning there for long. Mm. But having to pick a deputy candidate from, deputy president from Western region, to me that's irony. You don't see... I don't see Musalia being the deputy unless something else. O o what is Musalia going to be in this? Uh, as I said, eh, Musalia might be Ruto's uh, running mate. Ruto seems to, in his mind, seems to think that he controls central. Mm. So he might be dangling the deputy presidency to Musalia to try and convince Winston now that central is He's in, in his bucket. Uh, yes. D don't you think this may, may be spoiled for him? Uh, maybe picking if we, some, maybe another worthy competitor picks a deputy from central. Don't you think this will maybe spoil this arithmetic for him? No, that is the political matrix. We can only speculate, mm. but uh, in the next one or two months, it will be very clear yes. of how the lineup will fold out. Mm. Yes. And uh, that is the topic we are discussing today. We are uh, trying to bring now the maths. And uh, if you can see down here, our topic now is focus on August 9th. Nine. August 9th is when we are doing now the general elections. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> now I want you to bring now that other suspect of bombers. There are men who walked out of that, <laughs> of that uh, formation yesterday. Was it cowardice or is it just calculation? Uh, Kayesu, if you look at how the whole thing was. Yes. Musaila yesterday was talking about betrayal. Yes. First, uh, he, I, I think he was addressing His Excellency the Right Honorable Raila Molodinga yes. in the previous times when yes. they had the coalition. Yes. And uh, if you look at uh, what happened yesterday in Bomas, Kalonzo Musioka, Jimmy Wanjigi, and, uh, and Kano, Gideon Moy, Gideon yes. Moy yes. walking out yes. at the Bomas of Kenya, mm. it tells you that uh, Oka from the word go did not have trust. Yes. Because uh, you cannot have uh, an event with let's say I and Obare having an event, mm. but I did not tell Obare I'm inviting <coughs> you. Yes. Obare seeing you there, it's like a miracle. Yes. It's our event, or let's say it's my wedding, and uh, in my guest list, uh, when my, my spouse is looking at uh, the visitors, mm. he does not see your name. Eh. But you're appearing there as an ex-boyfriend. Ex eh. My friend, <laughs> you cannot stay. <laughs> you cannot even stand at the altar. So if you are in the Asus, you could also have worked out. I could out. have worked out because I'm not even informed of the, uh, the other party. Mm. I'm not even informed that we're having guests. Yes. The only thing I know is that uh, it's an ANC affair, it's an OCA affair. You will, you will announce yourself as a presidential candidate, as we did, mm. but not having guests who are our opponents. Okay. To me, what Kalonzo... What uh, His Excellency Gideon, Gideon Moy and mm. Jimmy Wanjiki did, it's, mm. it's the right thing. Because, because you cannot be in an event which you are, every face you are seeing, it's unfamiliar. Okay. Because you did not invite them. Uh, are you buying the same idea, Thomas? Uh, not really. Every, everything in politics is planned. Mm -hmm. What happened yesterday was planned. Planned by who? The walking out of Kalonzo Msioka, Gideon Moy, and Jimmy Wanjiki mm. was planned. By they you. knew that Ruto was coming there. Oh, they knew. So them attending and walking out is the reason as to why we are talking about them today. Okay. Yes. Okay. For Th them to stay relevant. For them to be relevant, yes. they had to be there yes. and walk out so that it gains the national... So according to you, they knew that they would walk out. That they knew that we are coming here, but we will not address yes, this. that was planned. Okay. You don't want to tell me that Musalia Mudavai doesn't have the intelligence 
to know that Ruto was attending that function. Ah, uh, no, he knew. He knew. Yes. So he attended, exit while Ruto is entering so that you get the national attention. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, let's speak also on betrayal that Abubakar has hinted. Mm -hmm. They are saying that uh, the ODM leader betrayed them, so they will not have anything, any pact. Yes going forward. Yes. In fact, if I can quote him verbatim, he says that we don't know who we are going to work with in this yes. journey, mm -hmm. but we know who we are not going to work with, and that is the Azimi Ogaris. He was that categorical. Yes. Don't you think this, he has also betrayed the Oka people? That's it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Mudavadi, according to Oka, from the first day they say they'll provide a candidate. They provide a candidate for the presidential elections. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was one month ago when uh, rumors were running around that Oka is broke, mm -hmm. has broken. Mm -hmm. Oka is no more. Yes. Mudavadi was the first person to stand and say, Oka is still firm. Yes. As Oka, we will not invite anybody mm -hmm. to our bedroom, yes. but we will consider mm. later on. So what happened yesterday? Mudavadi has clearly opened up like, he is not to be trusted. He himself mm -hmm. has said it, mm -hmm. according to his words. Mm -hmm. Because after there, I think in the evening, uh, Kalonzo Msioka spoke, and the Kano Gideon chairman, mm -hmm. uh, his party said that, uh, according to us, Mudavadi has betrayed us. Mm -hmm. Because he did not even tell us mm -hmm. he's having our opponent mm -hmm. in, in the NDC. Mm -hmm. So according to us, Mudavadi has shown betrayal. Mm -hmm. And if you come to Mudavadi, Mudavadi is saying that Raila betrayed, betrayed him or them because he went back to the government and mm -hmm. sat with Uhuru mm -hmm. and took the handshake. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I think uh, Mudavadi spoke about the handshake mm -hmm. and said those people who did handshake, they, they betrayed us, they brought mm -hmm. us down. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. But if you try to see this, the whole thing, Mudavadi and, and uh, UDA and ANC, have done their handshake. It, uh, it, it portrayed itself with the, the MP from Western, who dressed in uh, ANC mm. one side and the UDA, and UDA yeah. one side. Mm. What does that simply? That was Kimilili MP. Yes. That tells you that the UDA and the ANC ha has already done their handshake. Okay. So without telling the parties, he went ahead and shook hands. Oh, but a talk of betrayal. There was no betrayal. In the city. There was no betrayal <laughs> at all. <laughs> Politics is a game of interests. Uh -huh. When you were looking at Oka, the chances of Oka winning were near zero. Mm -hmm. So Mudavadi joining uh, Ruto mm -hmm. is a better bargaining mm -hmm. than him being in Oka. Mm -hmm. But what, was do you just think, what do you think he could sit down with these uh, fellow Oka principles and say, uh, I'm not seeing this going anywhere, so guys, I think it's high time you release me. According to what happened yesterday, it's like they didn't know that uh, Oka is no more. It's this guy who was... Uh, I had Junette talking yesterday. You, you, you don't do that in politics. It is okay. your interest first. Okay. If you want to alert your partners of your next move, mm -hmm. your partner might make that move before you make the move. Okay. Okay. So, make the move first. And that is what Msale did. If he could have been reluctant enough for Kalonzo to make the move, it could be relevant. You know what now Abubakar is saying? Yes. That Raila also did that. He made the first move and went out. And Budavadi called it betrayal. Yes. Don't you think this should also be qualified to be called betrayal? For Raila, Raila didn't betray anyone. Look at you. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I want to support uh, <laughs> the move that Raila made. Yes. When we were at Uhuru Park on January 30th, 2018, yes. Musalia Mudavadi, Kalonzo Msioka, and Moses Wetangula were not there. Mm -hmm. That ended the agreement that we had w as NASA. So it's them who betrayed? It is them uh -huh. who betrayed the cause we had. Uh -huh. Because we were swearing in Raila Moloding alone without his co principles. Uh -huh. So you cannot turn around and say that Raila has betrayed you. Raila went for his best interest. Mm. Yes. Okay. We are seeing very interesting turn of events mm -hmm. now. No, no, this, we are seeing 
like strange bedfellows. If somebody who died in 2013 or 2017 <laughs> during skirmishes can wake up now and see now the political realignments, they can be shocked. Yes. Yes, they can be shocked. What what ex, what what else do you think we are expecting? What, what strange thing do you think we can expect in, say, three months' time from now? Let's start with you, Abu Bakar. Uh, according to me, now we have started the politics. Mm -hmm. In last That's year, just started. Now we are now fitting in our shoes. Wana mm sema now, kwa kisoli they say, uneka ngao zako tayari kwa Now it's, it's now the time to say like, Who's in for this? Mm. I think it was January, first week of January, mm. when there was like uh, people saying the horses are too. Mm -hmm. And Mudavadi came up and said, no, mm. where are you putting us? <laughs> are we the donkeys? <laughs> but now he has come out clear saying that the horses are too. Mm -hmm. It's either mm. he is the candidate mm. or Ruto. Mm. Uh, first, uh, Kayesu, yesterday, it could have been an earthquake, mm -hmm. only if, Ruto would have supported Mudavadi. Mudavadi. Uh -huh. Then there we could have said it's not the real earthquake. Mm -hmm. But Mudavadi saying that he's ready to work with the UDA, that's not even an earthquake. It's just like he has just said, okay, seen an option. I'm now here stagnant. Mm -hmm. Let me now see where to go. Mm -hmm. Because looking at this side 2017, uh, I was left outside. Let me try here. Gra let me try grabbing something here. And uh, that's it. From now on, moving forward, we are not seeing like uh, Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. Kalonzo Msioka has na, he, he has remained on the road. Mm. He has nowhere to go. Mm. The only option Kalonzo has is either to go independent. And going independent in Kenya, not having followers and not having a coalition is mm. very hard. Mm. That's first. Mm. And uh, second, uh, the only option Kalonzo has is either moving to Azimio or forming a coalition with Jimmy Wanjigi, and can chair Kito Moy, those three. But looking at the working relations with Kalonzo and Raila, there's a more likely chance that Kalonzo to move from this Oka and flash to Azimio Lomoja. Mm -hmm. And looking at the working relation between Jimmy Wanjigi and Kano, Sitar, Kano Chairman Gideon Moy, Gideon is likely to swipe parts to Azimio. And same to Jimmy Wanjigi because Jimmy Wanjigi has worked with Raila more mm. than ev any other politician. Mm. Even in 2013, 2017, he said that he's the one who funded the campaigns for Raila and that's how they, they got to move forward. Okay, okay, and uh, you were and politicians used to call them themselves wise men. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, he's laughing yeah, because he's really wise. Me. Yeah, wisdom. <laughs> Before you pour your wisdom, I know you want to pour your wisdom, yes. and I want you to pour it. Mm. I want you to tell me what is likely to happen by May, May this year. But now, first, tell me what can. Gideon and Kalonzo have been put in a very awkward position now. Yes. Where, what do you think is their next move? There is nothing awkward about um, Salim David joining uh, Ruto. Actually, in Oka, the person who had votes is Kalonzo, not Musalia. Okay. Because Raila Odinga can campaign in Western peacefully without Musalia Mudavadi. Oh. But he can't campaign in Lower Eastern without, without Kalonzo Msioka. But yes, so we governors, yes, those all those three governors. You cannot ignore Kalonzo Msioka in Lower Eastern. Okay. Even with Akina Kibwan and all that, mm -hmm. you cannot ignore Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. But in Western, with Oparanya and the rest, mm -hmm. we will campaign there peacefully. So mm -hmm. Msalia joining Ruto is not a problem to Azimio. We have no problem with that, and <laughs> we wish him well. <laughs> the only th I don't know where this confidence <laughs> is coming from, no. <laughs> but you can go on. We, we, uh, we, we know where we're coming from and where we're going. Okay. Kalonzo Msioka is joining uh, Raila. Mm -hmm. By May, we'll be having two distinct camps, mm -hmm. the camp of uh, William Ruto and the camp of change, which is the camp of Azimio. <laughs> okay. But in between here, we are going to see a lot of transfers. Mm -hmm. So we can only expect a few people to jump ship from this one ship to the other to suit the wave within their regions. Mm -hmm. But it will be defined, in, actually it's not even May, by the end of April. Mm. After party nominations, even before party nominations, people will be jumping ship okay. to parties that can take them to parliament or to the county assemblies. So your prediction is by May, 
the two camps will be so distinct. So distinct. All those who are in Oka and other small parties shall have taken position. They will take position. Uh, maybe some people will try to make it to the ballot or to the ne to to August 9th, mm -hmm. but you don't think they will be significant. They will be insignificant. Even mm -hmm. if Oka decides to run uh, to the end, it will be insignificant. Okay. So instead of that embarrassment, mm -hmm. they will join either camps. Okay. Yes. Time is really moving and I will do a disfavor, a big disfavor mm -hmm. to you if I don't let you say what you are going to stand for maybe in your political, personal political stand as Abu Bakr. What, what new thing are you going to bring to Kisi Central? Did you say Kisi Central? Kisi what? Central. Is that now the town? Yeah, the CBD. Around <laughs> CBD. Hey, hey. <laughs> what, what, new, what, 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 what new thing are you bringing on political table in Kisi? Uh, Kayesu, according to me, the politics of Kenya in 2022 is mostly about the youths. Yes. Uh, we are looking forward in uh, empowering the youths, bringing the youths to board. Even uh, in Azimio, His Excellency Raila Odinga has seen that the youths have numbers. Mm -hmm. The youths have say in Kenya. Mm -hmm. He has promised four slots in his cabinet for the youths. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to me, in Kisi Central, we have very many youths who can do something. They can do art. Mm. They can do music. Mm. We have very various talents in Kisi, not only in Kisi, across Kenya, mm. with the youths. So your main anchor is that you are going to develop or improve these talents. Yeah. Okay. We need to bring up some institutions that bring this these young talents, mm. these young boys, these young young fellas out there. Mm. We need to bring them to board. Mm. We need to tell them that it's time for us as the youths mm. to move forward. How many are you in that race? Uh, I guess four, for whom I know. Four? Four for now. Okay. You know, are you all wrestling for a Zimio ticket? Yes. You're more than 16. For now. <laughs> for, for your now. information. Mm -hmm. For now, those who are outside there. Yes, those who have who are uh, shown clean. seriousness. Yes. Unajiona wapi kati hawa? Unajua, Kayesu, it depends with yourself. For mm. me, ac according to me, unajiona ni kujuu. Oh. Because you cannot run then you expect to be number last. Why yes. are you running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay at home and watch others running. Okay. So it's either you run aiming the top seat mm -hmm. or stay at home mm -hmm. and hear them run. Okay. So according to me, yes, Kisi County, Kisi Central, Lugia Mtawa nasema ikona mababe. Oh. It has those dons in mm -hmm. Kisi, those mm -hmm. who have been there. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure time changes. Oh. It's new generation. Mm. We are now heading there. So maybe in August, uh, not August, let's talk about October. October 2022, you may have you here as a Moshimeo. That's, <laughs> that's my prayers. <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, wisdom. Wisdom, <laughs> you've not told us the exact seat you are. I'm um, running for MCA, second time running for Bobasi Boitangare. Bobasi? Yes. Mm -hmm. In which county is Bobasi? That is Kisi, Kisi County. Kisi, Kisi, okay. Kisi, Kisi okay. County. Okay. What was the question? The question is, unajionaje um, uko so far? How did you do last time and how are you seeing yourself? As an independent candidate coming position three after Jubilee and ODM, I, oh, you're strong. Uh, then that means I'm strong on the yes, ground. Yes, yes. And uh, this time, it mm. is the people who want me to run. Okay. And I've heeded to their call. Uh, I told you earlier that I'm a trained economist. I want to use that knowledge mm. to transform my area. Mm. Yes. I will so not. you are seeing yourself in a, a good position. No, I will win. Oh, tell the kisses, the kiss, the, the, <laughs> your constituents <laughs> now the, who are watching you now, what new thing you are going to bring to them, how you are going to make the changes. I have already shared with them. It's so complex mm. that I cannot. Oh, okay. You said that we don't mm. have time. Mm. I can only tell them that. Bobasi Boitangari will never be the same mm. because I believe that I've got the knowledge, I've got the capability, I've got the training to transform that region. Okay. Yes. Um, how, how is the national politics in Kisi in general between these two Pharisees, starting with you? Kisi is Azimio. Percentage, you know, a scale of 1 to 10? 70 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Abu Bakar, are you also of the same opinion? According to me, the whole of Nyanza is, is Azimio. Particularly Kisi and Nyamira. Kisi uh, is Azimio. What mm. beef do you have with DP? No, no beef, no beef. It's just you know, politics. it depends with uh, my mindset and your mindset. And uh, Kayesu, 
I cannot think the same way you think. Mm -hmm. I, I maybe I like eating garlic and you like rice. Mm. So you are different. You cannot mm. force me to take rice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, my diet is different. Mm. So no beef with the UDA side. Yes. You d I have so many UDA friends. Mm -hmm. We share ideas. Mm -hmm. We share the logistics of Kenya. So like when it comes to politics, it depends with your mindset and what you want for your people. Okay. And depends with what those people want. Okay. You first ask them what you, they want and then you tell them what you want. Then you come to board together and say, this is what we want as this place. Obari idea, your idea on this. The Bagusi are very business oriented. Yes. We are spread all over Kenya. Mm -hmm. And in Azimio, we feel more safe. Oh. They have been asking in whose hands are we safe? Yes. <laughs> we feel that we are more safe as the Abagusi community in the hands of Right Honorable Raila Molodinga. Okay. As president of this so country. that's why even you you buy the same idea. You've not given me your skills. I, uh, I Azimio, for, for, for Azimio, we will get seventy percent of the vote. You are the same for the first time you are share, sharing the <laughs> we, uh, we come from the same region. Yes. But Kisi will be more. Than Yamira. Kisi is the percentage of Kisi might be higher than mm. Yamira. Mm. Yes. But it's it's Yamira or it's Yamira bordering it, the we, we, Valley. We, yeah. yeah. So but that is not that, the, that is that is not the reason. Mm. I think they have not found the right people to spearhead their Azimio campaign machinani. Mm. But I saw uh, Honorable Timothy Bosire launch his campaign. We mm. hope that he will change the tide of what is happening in Yamira. Mm. Yes. There are people like uh, Osoro who are vying on UDA, and I think there are several others, not just Osoro. Yes. What are their chances now that you are saying 70% of uh, the Abagusi are in Azimir? In uh, Kisi, we do not go with the party. Uh -huh. Osoro will win his seat on the a UDA ticket. Okay. But the national, the presidency, mm -hmm. is where we're talking about 70-80, oh, 70-30. Okay. But on the local seats, mm. you'll be shocked that UD has MPs, ODM has MPs, UD has MCS, because in case we vote the individual, oh, not the party. Okay. So you will be independent, but you'll be voted. Are you sharing the same opinion with my friend Obari? Almost the same. According to me, first of all, uh, this to all the youths out there. Mm. Uh, I'm advocating to them, and I'm saying this, mm. don't vote regarding the party. Mm. First, look at this person. Mm. Can he deliver what I want? Yes. Can this person bring change mm -hmm. to my constituency, to yes. my ward, to mm. my county? Mm. Can this person take us from the previous place we were to the next place we want to be? Mm -hmm. uh, Silvana Sosoro is the member of parliament, West South Mogirango. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he's a friend of mine. Mm. And looking at his work, looking at how South Mogirango is mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. he's likely 90% getting back to okay. the member of parliament. Because... The roads in South Mogirango. Oh, yes. The channels, That's a good job, right? everything is good. Okay. According to me, Silvana Sosoro is working. Mm. It, you know, in politics, you must work and make noise. But you think he cannot win votes for his boss, for the, the mm. presidential votes for his boss, because of that good work? Osoro campaigning for UDA in mm. Kisi, it's mm. hard. But he's doing it. And I'm telling you, like, campaigning and taking votes for for mm -hmm. Kisi County mm -hmm. to UDA, mm -hmm. it's very hard. Let's talk about fallout. I think that is the last thing we are talking mm -hmm. about. We, uh, your Azimio party is doing nominations, I think, in April. Eh? April, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think people will fall out now, starting with Azimio, maybe we'll go to other parties. There will be a major fallout maybe after nomination. People will be defecting and maybe starting to campaign for an, for the for, for the opponent, opponent, for their opponent now. Let's start with you, Obari. That is very normal in politics, we, but we hope that the party comes up with a mechanism to caution this nomination fallouts. What will you do if you don't get the ticket of Osu? In 2017, I didn't get the ticket, I ran independent. Oh, okay. But I ran independent because I saw what had happened. Yes. So I hope that uh, all these political parties are putting mechanisms to ensure that the nominations are free and fair. Mm -hmm. With free and fair nominations, if mm -hmm. I'm defeated at the nomination level, mm -hmm. I will support that candidate. Oh. But don't play monkey games and then expect me to support you. <laughs> 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 okay. Mm -hmm. uh, according to me, Kayesu, Honorable Raila Molodinga said, 
when you fail in the nominations, doesn't mean that you are off. Mm -hmm. It's like when you fall down, does not mean that you've broken your leg. Mm -hmm. Just walk up, try to crawl. Mm -hmm. You said it clearly. Nominations will be done. But if you fail, just stay in the party. Okay. The party has got many seats to offer. Yes. Even I, I myself, if I fail in the nominations, mm. the candidate who will be chosen, mm. I'll support the candidate. Okay. I'll campaign for the candidate. On the same breath, tell me your final remarks. We were under, we were ending off on this camera. Uh, my final remarks is, uh, I'm only speaking to the youths, mostly. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling them, Vijana, it's your time. Mm. It's time for you to take that vote of yours and let it be your say. With this vote out there, you can elect, you can impeach. You can put to office and you can take back home okay. the leader. Okay. So, wisely, 2022 is here. Every leader is trying to grab the youths. Okay. So stay safe. Ukishikwa, it's you to say, like, this court is tight. Please give mm -hmm. me some air. Mm. I need to breathe very well. I get you. So that's it. Okay. Yes. Poor wisdom. Wise man. Thank you. Wise man. Thank you. Poor wisdom in camera. Uh, mine is simple. Mm. We are in a, a period where we are IBC trying to register voters. I want to encourage all young people who have got national IDs and have not registered to kindly register as voters so that they can make their voice be heard on August 9th and ensure that as young people you participate in uh, the political uh, activities that are going to take place in a positive way because we cannot afford to ignore the impact that politics has in our lives. Thank you. Okay, mine is just appealing on peace. Let's do it. Vijana, let's be peaceful this time around. Let's not be incited to do any act of violence. Let's play politics, not violence. This has been why in the morning. It started early in the morning, he and Michelle Ashira, and now they have a man talk, now there's politics, and we are here with you. So up next, we are going to have Tano Kali, and keep it here, keep it here till we meet again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Adini.